Hi folks, you are with me Dr. Rajesh Sekhren. You are here to learn about research. You are in the right place to learn about research. Come, let's get started. Today, we are going to understand about the hypothesis, different types of hypothesis, how to write hypothesis and how to test the hypothesis, all these things we are going to learn about. First of all, what is hypothesis? Hypothesis is the predictive statement. It is the predictive statement which will is the tentative what you call assumption about your research, what will be the, uh, uh, the conclusion of the research. It is assumption. Please kindly make a note. Assumption which has not yet been tes tested. After testing this hypothesis, either you prove that your assumption is right or wrong. So, so it's very simple. It is a predictive statement about your research. Normally, hypothesis can stem out from your research question. Based on the research question only, you will be able to fix the hypothesis. Now, next, how many types of hypothesis are there? And before even you know about types of hypothesis, you need to understand uh, why do we need to use hypothesis. So, very simple hypothesis is the kind of uh, method which is used mainly, hypothesis uh, testing mainly used in uh, three things. One is experimental setup, observation and probably statistical analysis. So, in these three things, you will be able to either prove or disprove your hypothesis. And uh, as I have already told you, the hypothesis is the predictive statement. And how many types are there? And why do we know about these types? Because each type will be used in different context of the research design. It, the type of hypothesis will vary according to your research design. For example, there is a one-tailed hypothesis that is called directional hypothesis. Two-tailed hypothesis it is called non-directional hypothesis because based on this hypothesis model, you have to, to defer the statistical analysis. Is that clear? So now let me talk about the uh, types clearly. One is statistical hypothesis. In the statistical hypothesis, you have null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis is termed as H0 and alternate hypothesis is called a H1. It's, it's for a statistical understanding. And in broader sense, I would like to introduce only three types of hypothesis. One is, as I already told you, directional hypothesis, non-directional hypothesis, and statistical hypothesis. There may be slight overlap within this also, but we try to understand. The directional hypothesis, as the name indicates, it, it directs something. The outcome of the hypothesis, the hypothesis will state whether there is a positive or negative relationship or a higher or lower uh, relationship. In that way, it predicts a particular relationship. That's why it is called directional relationship. Though. So that hypothesis will identify whether it has positive relationship or a negative relationship between two variables. And important thing I, I, I failed to mention even in before this, if you want to write a hypothesis, you require definitely two variables. Because in one of my previous video, I have talked about what are, what are variables. Variables are of two types. One is independent variable and dependent variable. Independent variable creates a cause. Dependent variable becomes effect. Let me give you an example. There are, uh, uh, there is a different, uh, the impact of age in vocabulary learning. The impact of gender in vocabulary learning. Here, vocabulary learning is dependent variable. That dependent variable can be controlled by independent, particular independent variable, age and gender. So this age creates some impact, uh, uh, what, what you call effect on this dependent variable. And so finally we'll come to so that there is a difference between the, what you call, a male a vocabulary learning of male and female. So we can find out one hypothesis. There is a difference between uh, there is a difference in vocabulary learning between male and female. So, th th without variable, you will not be able to write any hypothesis. So, this example I have given only for to, to make you to understand the what you call variables. 
Now come to the directional hypothesis. We'll take the same vocabulary learning and let me teach you directional directional hypothesis. As I already told you, it will say that there is a difference. There is a positive difference of male vocabulary. There is a negative uh, influence of uh, female vocabulary. That means if the male can score better vocabulary than the female, when you say this kind of impact specifically. one has better vocabulary than the other one this is called directional because you give the proper direction it is called directional vocabulary directional hypothesis second thing is non directional hypothesis here you will not exactly say which is best which is whether male is good or female is good you don't say any kind of outcome simply you say that there is a difference between male and female but in the directional hypothesis it clearly stated that one either male vocabulary or female vocabulary is better but in this non directional vocabulary you will not study those things only in a general sense you will say that there is a difference between uh, uh, vocabulary stock of male and female but you will not say you will not predict you will not direct which is higher then third thing is we call it as Uh, directional non directional then statistical hypothesis in the statistical hypothesis uh, you have a two variety within the sub you have a two types of uh, hypothesis this is what generally used by a lot of researcher in their research work one is alternate hypothesis another one is uh, null hypothesis if the statistics proves the alternate hypothesis will be accepted what is alternate hypothesis if it is uh, for example we take the same male female and vocabulary stock there is a difference between male and female in vocabulary learning if if your statistics analysis proves this particular statement means that this hypothesis is accepted this hypothesis is called alternate hypothesis which comes under the category of non directional hypothesis then what is the null hypothesis null hypothesis just opposite to the uh, what you call alternate hypothesis it simply say that the negative statement there is there is no relationship between male and female in vocabulary learning alternate says that there is a relationship between male and female vocabulary learning but null hypothesis says that there is no relationship between male and female in vocabulary learning then you may ask me why do we need to have both null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis because when you uh, do conduct a research you may not know whether is there any relationship between these two things whether it has a positive impact or negative impact that's why you write both alternative hypothesis or null hypothesis based on your statistical analysis then you will come to know whether null hypothesis is accepted whether alternate hypothesis are accepted or null hypothesis accepted you have to you will be able to find a conclusion only after the statistical analysis now we will let us know about how to write hypothesis so so far you have learned about what is hypothesis what are the types of hypothesis and how how it differs in in terms of its usage you have seen now how to write hypothesis first thing very simple you can write as a statement that's what i already told you there is you can start in like this there is a difference between male and female in terms of vocabulary learning there is no difference in terms of vocabulary learning between male and female same same statement you have to use only you have to add no for no or not for the null hypothesis there is a difference between male and female vocabulary stock that is alternate hypothesis in another another way you can write the male as code better vocabulary than the female this is another way of writing it male has scored better vocabulary than the female this is another way of writing hypothesis third thing you can use if then statement if uh, here probably the same uh, if the female can be given more intervention they, their vocabulary will be better than the boys let me repeat the females are given more uh, opportunity to improve vocabulary they can, their vocabulary can be better than the female vocabulary so if then statement if male score better than the female there may be a reason there are so many varieties you can check just it's for your common understanding 
second type you can use simply there is a impact on male vocabulary due to technology there is a impact of female there is a impact of uh, you can have it in this is a better version there is a impact of parents education in students vocabulary here you say there is a impact of parents education students vocabulary that means if the parents are educated will there be any better score or a lower score in their vocabulary you will be able to study that this is another way third thing you can write simply and the uh, salary told you that there is no difference or there is a difference in this way you can write so the only three types uh, you can write if then statement and comparison statement and another one is normal statement there is different there is no difference in general the social sciences in majority of the research you can see null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis that is written in the statement there is a difference between male and female it's a alternate hypothesis there is no difference between male and female it is null hypothesis guys i think you have got a clear idea about what is hypothesis a predictive statement let me give you the one on one word predictive statement when you normally test hypothesis in observation statistical uh, testing you will you will test it what are the way what are the types of hypothesis directional non directional and what you call statistical hypothesis directional gives a direction either uh, positive or negative non directional will not say anything simply it states that why is there any relationship and statistical hypothesis will have two alternate and null alternate is a positive null is a negative that's it so how do you uh, phrase it if then statement one way of writing it normal statement there is difference and another one is simply writing impact or a correlation and difference so i guess you have clearly understood about hypothesis it will be definitely useful to know no no for your research and if you really like it i love to hear your comments please do not forget to give your comment and so that i can post the next video in a better fashion and i will catch you in one of the another important research topic in the next video until then bye from dr rajshekar bye